MyFertilityCharts.com gives you three different confidence indicators, namely certainty, completeness, and quality. These appear beneath your fertility chart using a five-star system, with five stars being the highest and the preferred outcome. Let's start by talking about certainty. Certainty tells you how much faith to place in the overall ovulation date which was calculated. To help understand this, let's consider a weather analogy. Assume you want to know when is the next time it's going to rain. You may consider these five-day forecasts from four different meteorologists. Notice that all four forecasts agree that it will next rain either on Tuesday or on Wednesday. If you had to pick a single date, you would likely say that it will next rain on Wednesday. Because all three forecasts generally agree that it will next rain Wednesday, we say that there is a high degree of certainty in this estimate. Let's consider another example with a different forecast. It is less clear here when it will rain next. The forecast suggests that it may be as soon as Monday or as late as Thursday. If we had to pick a single date to answer the question, we might choose Tuesday or Wednesday because it's in the middle. Because the forecasts don't agree, we can't be too certain about the estimate. Therefore, the certainty would be low. We may guess that it will next rain on Tuesday, but we can't be too confident about this. To tie this analogy back to ovulation charting, let's take a look at the table of ovulation estimates from MyFertilityCharts.com. On the left are different symptoms and analysis techniques. This is similar to the meteorologist. These are different sources of ovulation date estimates. On the right are ovulation dates. These are similar to the weather forecast when we asked when it would rain next. Let's go ahead and tie this back to some fertility charts to better understand certainty in the context of ovulation charting. In this example, six different ovulation estimates are shown in the lower table. These estimates suggest that the ovulation occurred around February 20th. The overall estimated date would be February 20th since all estimates except one agree with this date, and that one is close. Since multiple sources of estimates agree on the same estimated ovulation date, we would say that the certainty is high. Using February 20th as the single date estimate of ovulation is a safe assumption that we can be confident in. In this second example, the six ovulation dates vary. Although basal body temperatures are clustered around August 26th and 27th for their ovulation date, the cervical mucus and ovulation testing data suggest a much later ovulation date. An overall ovulation date may take all of this into consideration and estimate ovulation to occur somewhere in the middle of this region. The single date estimate of ovulation, say cycle day 17, is not necessarily very accurate. Because multiple sources of estimates disagree, we would conclude that the certainty is low. This warns you not to put too much faith in the overall estimated ovulation date. Instead, you may wish to look at the individual estimates and potentially even manually specify which you'd like your chart to highlight. The next type of confidence is completeness. Completeness, as the name would suggest, indicates how complete the calculation of ovulation estimates is. In our weather forecast example, we may only have one five-day forecast available. We can estimate when it will rain next using the single forecast, but it is not very complete since it does not consider other meteorologists. In this case, we would say that the completeness is low. We may want to wait for additional information and continue charting our data. In the meantime, we can estimate that it will next rain on Wednesday. For comparison's sake, this example includes forecasts from all four meteorologists. Since we have estimates available to us from all of them, we would say that the completeness is high. Let's take a look at some fertility charts to better understand completeness. In this example, it is early in the cycle. There are six techniques shown on the table, five of which the user is tracking. Since none of the five have calculated ovulation dates yet, we would say that the completeness is low. The completeness will progressively increase from one to five stars as each of the techniques concludes upon its estimated ovulation date. This example considers a more complete scenario much later in a cycle. Since all ovulation date estimates are known, the completeness is high. Completeness is about whether or not the ovulation dates have been estimated and not whether the cycle is finished. 
an anovulatory cycle may be finished but will still receive a low completeness score since few, if any, techniques will conclude on ovulation dates. The last type of confidence is quality. Quality indicates what type of information is feeding into the estimates we are using. Let's go back to the weather analogy. Before we were talking about four different meteorologists. It may be that their forecasts come from four different sources. Perhaps the upper two are based on the farmer's almanac in a simple estimate using barometric pressure. These are less accurate techniques. If the lower two forecasts are based on advanced computer models, we should place more emphasis on their forecasts. In this example, only the less accurate forecasts are available. Because we used less accurate techniques, the quality of this estimate would be considered low. In contrast, consider the scenario where the forecasts are using the more accurate techniques. We may similarly decide that it will next rain on Wednesday, however we are more confident about this. In this case, we would say that the quality is high because it includes forecasts from the most accurate sources. Now let's look at the charting example. In this fertility chart, the user is only tracking saliva ferning patterns. Because saliva ferning is not as strongly tied to ovulation as other techniques, any ovulation estimate based solely upon it would have low quality. To achieve higher quality, other symptoms should also be tracked as well. In this example, other symptoms are tracked. Although none have produced ovulation estimates yet, basal body temperatures, cervical mucus, and ovulation testing are all being recorded. Any resulting overall ovulation date will be scored with high quality because it is based upon techniques with well-established scientific evidence. If you are not already using MyFertilityCharts.com, you can sign up for free and begin charting your fertility at MyFertilityCharts.com.